what if every human being on the planet could greet their singing voice with the same passion, the same possibility, the same sense of love that Elisabetta in the opera Tannhäuser greets the hall of Wartburg with. This reality of passion and possibility and love is opera organically. Now to tell you a little bit about opera organically, I need to pose to you a challenge. And I also need you to pay very close attention to how you react to this challenge. The challenge is this. Each of you, by the end of this talk, will have sung a solo. Observe very carefully the reaction in your body and in your mind. So that there's a good chance that you had one or more of four reactions to the idea of singing a solo. The first one is running as fast as you can, screaming to the nearest exit. Ah! There, I've done it for you. You don't have to. The second reaction is running inside. Oh, God. Don't make me sing. Maybe if I pretend I have to go to the bathroom, I won't have to. Third reaction, sure, I'll sing. Mariana, little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. You're having a good time on your own planet. We're all down here on Earth. Yay. Fourth reaction. Who is she to tell me what is possible? In Opera Organically, we talk about something called the spheres of safety. In a singer's experience, the innermost sphere of safety is between the singer and her voice. But in our culture, we're not taught how to have a healthy relationship with singing. We're taught that singing is a black and white thing. We either have voice or we don't have voice. We have a good voice or we have a bad voice. Off organically is about looking at singing in the entire color spectrum. It's about seeing voice even in our freaky reactions to singing. The next sphere of safety is between the singer, their voice, and the voice teacher. In Off organically, the definition of a voice teacher is someone who can hold the absolute positive reality of voice. This is not a voice that we have. This is a voice that has us, and it's all around us. Just like Mozart, when he composed, he said, oh, music is all around me. I just take the notes and write them down. The same reality applies to singing. We just need someone to teach us the language of voice, and once we know it, we see it everywhere. Everywhere. So what does that look like in an opera organically session? Well, the first reaction. Ah! The only difference between a scream and a song is that we said yes to the scream. We've allowed it into our bodies. What about a cry, a whimper? in. We said yes to it. What about if we're on our own planet? Mariana, little lamb, little lamb, little Mariana. Oh, I'm here. <sighs> what about? No way. No way. No way. No way. There's a lot of resonance in resistance. The next sphere of safety, once we started to explore our reactions to singing and find voice there, the next sphere of safety is something called the opera organically community. And all of you who are here 
are automatically enrolled in the community. So congratulations. It's very exciting. In the Alpha Organically community, we all agree to at least explore the possibility of this positive voice space where voice is all around us. We don't talk about having voice or not having voice. Suddenly, each of us is on a treasure hunt to find that which is already here in everything we do and everything that we are. And whether you've been on this treasure hunt for the last four minutes or the last 80 years, your path is as worthy of being honored as anyone else's. And in this space, no one can tell you you don't have voice. No one. So we move on to our challenge. And in our challenge, I do need to tell you about one last possible reaction to singing. The fifth reaction I didn't want to tell you about because I don't want you to use it as an out. The fifth reaction when we're asked to sing is absolute silence. No one in Op Organically is forced to make a sound because I learned from my first teacher in Europe that we can sing simply by standing still and not making a sound. Sometimes this is the most beautiful singing we will ever hear. So if you do choose to use the fifth reaction as your first step in Oppo organically, I invite you to make your silence loud. I invite you to make it real. I invite you not to be victim of your silence, but to own it and to be it, hear it, feel it, be it. This is opera organically. So I'd like you all to stand, please. <laughs> this is very exciting. Everyone hold hands. We're going to go aisle by aisle. <laughs> Maybe we can reach across the aisles. Aisle by aisle. <clears throat> oh, that looks great. You guys look awesome. Now remember here, we've already created this absolute positive space of voice. Anything goes. If you are silent, make it loud. Anything goes. Now, you might hear some people who actually know what they're doing. In fact, I can almost guarantee it. Just know that no matter where you are on your treasure hunt to voice, it is honored here. Absolutely. So your cue is going to be, we're going to start here on this corner. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Your cue is going to be when your neighbor squeezes your hand. Now, this is going to be really fun. So take about a second, a second and a half to do this. We should be done in about two minutes. Okay, anything goes, and yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> Take a seat. <clears throat> I have to say, from my perspective, that was fantastic. There is nothing more enlivening than entering into this space of possibility. And I have to tell you that no matter what you believed before you came into this room, you have now taken the first step toward allowing voice into your life. You are a singer. We all sing, if we know it or not. So let us let this enliven us. Let us accept and greet this space like Elizabeth does the Hall of Wartburg. That which enlivens all of us is not far away. It is coming. It is here. Und der dich 
Thank you.